Oh, Stan and Donna, much like Baltimore City Police already has, Anne Arundel is considering public street cameras to solve crimes in hot spots, but there are questions about the number of cameras and the cost. So there's, there's not a jurisdiction in the country that has enough cops. And that lack of police officers is a problem in Anne Arundel County, too, according to its police chief. So Tim Altamari supports an idea to help the officers he has with the crime camera system by placing electronic eyes on neighborhoods that data shows need them the most. If you do an analysis of citizens, crime rates, and how many cops the other counties have, you'll see that they have fared much better than us. County Councilman Pete Smith is leading the push for cameras in certain neighborhoods, mostly in North County, that have seen consistent calls for robbery, theft, and assault. I believe it's going to uh, perform or act as a deterrent uh, for those who are seeking to sort of do harm in Anne Arundel County. Smith has been consulting with Baltimore City to learn about how it operates its City Watch program. Smith says the number of cameras and how much this could cost the county are things that will come into focus soon. Some may say that maybe we could spend money on, on changing the root causes of crime, yes. like job opportunities, yes. education, drug rehab centers. I agree. The problem is uh, even. You can you can still do two birds with one stone, and and, and my thought process is, is uh, uh, those efforts, economic development, jobs, educations, they're much more long-term solutions. The reality is we still got to fix the now, and the now is that these crimes are occurring. Councilman Smith thinks the cameras could be operational sometime late next year. Some of the neighborhoods um, under consideration for cameras include those in Glen Burnie, Pasadena, Severn, Brooklyn Park, and Annapolis. We're live in Millersville, George Lettuce, WBAL TV 11 News.